Jason from Auto Appraise, autoappraise.com. Second test drive of the 1970. Top and in the yellow. Plymouth Gouda. Clarkston, Michigan, July 23rd, 2011. A quick recap on the uh, inspection. We just got done doing about a three hour long inspection. We're doing a test drive right now. Speedo shows that we're rolling about 60 miles an hour. It does not feel like we're going that fast. It feels more like 50. I have to say it might be reading a little bit high. The car's got 14 inch Magnum uh, rallies on it and uh, newer tires. Got a very solid, stable underbody. It appears to be all original. Not a rotisserie car, but a well preserved original car. The acceleration's nice and aggressive. Mild. Uh, Mild cam, nothing too much over a stock build on the motor. Uh, no hesitation or lag noted, no timing or ignition issues are apparent. Got a nice little uh, jump in the passing here. Steering feels pretty good. Tires are relatively uh, newer on the car. Stabbing on the brakes right now. I'll put the camera down so you can see my hand was off the wheel for a minute. Car stops nice and straight. Got a pretty good pedal. It's got power steering and power brakes. Slapstick 727 automatic torque flight trans. I didn't answer. It's a 340 motor. Nicely well preserved interior. Some vinyl upgrades. All the gauges seem to be working. That gas gauge is definitely working because we're about out. And I made it back, so I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. Odometer's rolling, speedometer's working. Turn signals are flashing both inside and out. Horn works, wipers work. Radio and clock are in up. Fan is uh, in up. Uh, controls all slide freely. Good solid exterior body that magnet tested and digitally paint metered out very well. Very nice H code car. All the glass is in really good shape for survivor glass. The windshield doesn't have any major chips in it, maybe a few little sand pecks here and there. The side glass has some roller scratches. I forgot to roll them up before the inspection to show you. But a couple roller stripes here from uh, worn guides. Uh, the rear window is really nice and clear. Got the original Pentastar on it there. Side glass is in pretty good condition here. A couple roller scratches that we show you in the still photos. Interior really looks to be in nice shape. Let me give you a shot of this underhood. There's the front suspension. Looks to be in good condition. You'll notice there's no tears in the die holes. Up on the frame rail. Engine's got a nice, uh, just a mild rumble. I could be all exhaust and everything stock on the cam. sounds good and tight. Power brake booster and the master cylinder have been repainted. Exhaust manifolds have been gone over and painted, touched up. 
Original core support stamp that matches the VIN number is here. Original fender tags present. VIN stamp matches there as well. No real obvious structural damage noted in the car's past that I can see. Got an aftermarket Edelbrock intake on it. With a pretty good running motor, the oil's clean and full. Transmission fluid is nice and pink and up to the marks. And the antifreeze is full and green. Good looking Mopar. Make somebody a nice e-body. <clears throat> Very few small paint contaminations. There's one there, a little eighth inch swell. A little bit of stone splash on the backs of the quarters. A couple other pinhead uh, size marks on the car, but really the paint's in very nice shape. This yellow cover color is very forgiving. Hard to really see flaws in yellow in the sunlight. Little chip there. Door corners look pretty good. The other side's got a little bit of filler in it. But we hung a magnet from it. The door's closed really nice. It's a two-finger effort. A little bit of scratching going on on some of the original trim. The windshield trim looks like it may have been changed when the windshield was probably replaced. The rear window trim was probably just polished up nice. The taillight bezels show a little bit of age. The back tail panel was repainted. Both the bumpers show very nicely. The rest of the trim and the strip is in nice shape. That grill's been reconditioned. Looks real good. Jason from Auto Appraise finishing up an inspection in a 1970 E body. Clarkston, Michigan, July 23rd, 2011. We have 310 inspectors on the ground nationwide. Let us know if we can do a car for you sometime.